video is brought to you by Let's Synthesize Academy, the number one place for practice-oriented courses for serious music producers. Yo, I'm Dan Larson here. Welcome to the newest Synthesis and episode. And today I want to talk a little about additive synthesis because it is awesome. And I try to recreate the song Blow from Upgrade like this. Like always, you can grab this sound from my Patreon below with tons of other and click here for my academy. I have awesome start to finish courses, but right now let's jump into it. Okay, so this is the original one. And this is the remake. So this is how I process the backing track. So as you can see, I just automated a high pass filter using EQ8. Okay, so let's jump into Serum because it is crazy, crazy simple. I use the basic shapes and the low pass filter and a kick attack, a kick transient in the noise oscillator. And in the effects, I just added some stereo width basically using the dimension expander. But the trick inside oscillator A is to add two extra harmonics, a third harmonic and the fifth harmonic to the first harmonic. So this is how I got this sound. Because without the third and the fifth harmonic, So this is the power of additive synthesis. You can create very, very exciting sounds simply by just, you know, drawing in the higher harmony. So this is why I love Operator 2. We can do the same thing, by the way, here. So if I just go into the oscillators and I draw in the same harmonics, I got the same sound, basically. So this is all. But after that, I had to add an EQ8 to match it with the original sound. By the way, this is boosting the mids a lot. We don't have the attack here in Operator or the Transient, but what you can do is group this whole thing using a sampler and, you know, just drop in any sample you want. And the coolest part here is that you don't need to stop here. You can go in and add even more harmonics for a different sound. And then you can start driving it with some even more distortion. But maybe let's focus only on the higher frequencies. And maybe tube is not the best distortion algorithm. Yeah, this is exciting. Eee, what a cool sound. But we definitely need to filter it somehow. For example, with my favorite filter, the Bender Check filter. And maybe to get rid of that irritating mid high frequency at around. It must be at around 4K or something. Well, it's around 3K. So this is such a cool thing and you can still go back to the oscillator tab and you know just draw in again random waveforms adding some extra harmonics. Such a cool stuff. But we definitely want to maybe 
filter this sound, have a little more plucky sound. Yeah, such a cool stuff. Okay, so go to my Patreon if you want to grab this sound and check my academy for awesome courses. See you guys next time. Peace.